Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for taking the time to subscribe. Uh, kind of crazy busy out there. I want to, well, obviously, here's, here's Debbie. Now a tropical storm. It may actually do a loop. I'll talk about that in, in a moment, and I'll, I'll show you that. This here, the strong tropical wave. We had some of that rain overnight in Barbados. Very active, uh, say, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. This is the one that may try to develop as it moves toward Jamaica. And in the Pacific, there are four. Four. I'm gonna. This map I'm gonna show you has got a crazy four named storms right now: Carlotta, Daniel, Amelia, and now Fabio, a new one. There are four at one time in the in that basin. So we'll swing to that. Let me let me get to Debbie first. There's just a, a lot to cover. So thank you for uh, hanging with me. Uh, this here, Debbie, did make a landfall. Some of the gusts were around uh, 95 miles per hour. Made landfall as a Category One hurricane up toward the Big Bend of Florida. Now uh, it's going to really get slow. And in my decades of doing this, when systems get slow, that means there's not a lot of steering in the environment to move them. That means a couple things. One, it's going to dump some historic amounts of rain, southern South Carolina and parts of uh, eastern Georgia. The second thing is when things start to tend to uh, kind of get slow or even stall, sometimes they do weird things like they do a loop. And that is a possibility. Debbie may actually get over the water, kind of do a loop down to the south and then back to the uh, north. So it could actually do a spin down the road. Just kind of watching that. We'll get into that with the uh, European model in a moment, but there is Debbie. This is what was ro uh, rolling through parts of uh, Cuba and the Bahamas for days and days, and there is Debbie, now a tropical storm, and it will be such a slow mover. Then on top of that, here's that next area. Now, no immediate signs of development, but it's going to be very active near Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, swinging right up to the north through St. Lucia, of course. Some heavy areas of rain. Monitoring some of the uh, flooding here. Let me zoom down again give you an idea of what we're seeing. Here's Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, and Barbados. Now, a lot of this has uh, kind of moved off to the west of Barbados. Still could be active as we go throughout the day. See these darker colors in here? Darker colors will tell me we have taller clouds. In that, more moisture, that means heavier rain, that could lead to isolated flooding and some slides in some spots, and uh, we could see uh, some gusty winds on this. So this tropical wave moving by, still hanging together. And throughout the week, I'm going to watch out for some signs of development out of that. Now, here's that one moving in for us in the Eastern Caribbean. There's another wave here, but then a stronger area is starting to move off the coast of Africa. Not sure if that's going to develop yet, kind of putting that on the back burner, and uh, we'll get to that in a moment. But this tropical wave now moving into the Eastern Caribbean high pressure to the north, so it's just going to move to the west-northwest, and once it gets closer to Jamaica, that's when it could start to develop and then kind of swing its way toward the Yucatan or toward Belize and then back into the Gulf. Not to say we're going to have a hurricane or something like that, but the water temperatures are so very warm in this area. So let me show you the broad picture first, and you could pick a spot on the map uh, near where you are. Here are the multiple systems. I'll get into this in a moment. In the uh, eastern Pacific, this here is Debbie. Here's that tropical wave bringing very active weather to parts of the uh, Caribbean, southeastern Caribbean in particular for today. So this is later in the day. Now let me swing forward into uh, Tuesday. Today's Monday. Into uh, Tuesday you see this spin unfortunately just sitting up here and then here comes some of that rain working its way through the Caribbean. I'll zoom down into the Caribbean uh, to show you this in, in a moment as you hang with me but I wanted to set the uh, stage here. Some rain, Nicaragua, Costa Rica and then this thing is just spinning here. It may actually drift. See how drift to the south. Here we are in the northern Bahamas. Uh, it could just kind of drift to the south and then kind of do a hook and spin back in toward a Georgia or up toward the Carolinas. This is by Thursday. Meanwhile, on Thursday, while well, that's doing stuff uh, that's kind of a weird up here, we have this. Look at the increased rain. Jock Mel over toward uh, Haiti, uh, back toward Kingston, Falmouth as we work our way into uh, Jamaica. And then this area by Friday works its way toward the Cayman Islands. Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. I'm not seeing something developing before this wave moves in for us. I'll monitor, uh, but at least seeing that a uh, higher possibility of some development on the backside of it, and we'll get the higher possibility of some rain. And then as we work our way into Saturday, things kind of get a, a little confused. Uh, the, uh, the American model uh, brings uh, Debbie kind of inland, and then it doesn't know what it wants to do with this uh, wave yet. Does it develop it and shoot it up to the north? Does it not develop it, kind of move to the west? Uh, that's days away, and I'm not sure yet either. Looking at everything in the environment, it's a very odd uh, setup. So you have Debbie here, and then watching this tropical wave. Look at this area of high pressure here. 
That's the blocker I was showing you a minute ago. So that keeps our tropical wave moving from Barbados, St. Lucia, uh, Trinidad, and swinging it off toward uh, the west over the next few days. But this area of high pressure here, it's actually going to start to move away. And that's one of the reasons uh, that uh, Debbie just kind of hangs out in place. Uh, so this is today. Let's swing into tomorrow. And the European model showing how this is so slow may do a little loop in here. Uh, this is, uh, that's Debbie. And then you see the green in here. The green would be the rain uh, increase. Uh, coverage of some rain swinging back toward Puerto Rico. We'll get some showers and storms. No development yet here though on the uh, European model. Just checked in on the ICON and uh, uh, the uh, Canadian model. Not crazy signs of development uh, back through the uh, Caribbean. But this here uh, is by the time we get into Wednesday. So watching in here, some of that rain getting closer uh, to Jamaica. Look at that area of high pressure, right? That kind of moves away. So uh, this that kind of wanted to steer around that doesn't really have that anymore. High pressure moves away and over here, there are no fronts. So there's really nothing directing Debbie. And that's why it actually may do a loop. There's nothing on either side. It's just kind of hanging out. And when I see that happen, sometimes they could do a little loop. Most of the indications are it move back inland and kind of drift up to the uh, north. And then meanwhile, as we work our way into Thursday, you see right here, uh, the increased rain over toward Jamaica. Now, does this area just kind of stay weak and march to the west and increase some of our rain over toward Cancun, down toward Belize City and Hopkins? Or does it try to shoot into the Gulf of Mexico and potentially develop more. I'm not sure. The models aren't sure yet. It is a wait and see as we watch out for the possibility of development out of this area. But as we know, and as we saw with Debbie, which strengthened over the warm water in the uh, northwestern Gulf of Mexico, these water temperatures very warm. 30, 31 here near the Cayman Islands and Cuba, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So the water temperatures are warm. And this is the biggest issue, the heat content. It's not only warm water, but it's deep warm water. So that warm water could just kind of filter up and just fuel these things and that's why I'm watching this tropical wave carefully because it's going to move over some of the areas or the areas of the very highest heat content we have in the entire Atlantic Basin, which includes the Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean. And that's why uh, I'm monitoring that wave. Again, just looking at stuff, you're like, hey, it may not develop, but this right here, the high heat content, that is the biggest ingredient for this hurricane season. We saw what it did with barrel. It really flared that up, and that warmth really did help uh, uh, in, in the bad sense of the uh, way Debbie uh, to form further. Now, uh, this is one of those crazy maps. Here's Jamaica. This is on Thursday. Looking at the wind shear, there's not a lot of wind shear, which is it's bad for us. There's not a lot of wind shear out here. So uh, the, it could get a more conducive, the environment for development. Wind shear is good. It knocks, across, knocks the uh, tops off of developing uh, thunderstorms and tropical systems. So we like wind shear for the hurricane season, uh, but uh, not a ton of wind shear. Another reason there may be some development there. And look how it kind of corresponds to the uh, building seas. Of course, back through here, with Debbie. And as this tropical wave moves in, the seas are going to be building, uh, just ticking away throughout the week. This is uh, tomorrow. Here's meters and here's feet on your screen. Of course, things building here as this just sits up here. Watching the northern Bahamas too uh, for uh, those seas really starting to build. And there's that spot right there, a couple meters, maybe two to about three meters, uh, eight, nine, ten feet right through here. And this is by the time we get into Thursday. Of course, dangerous stuff off toward the uh, southeast U.S. And then this building spot right here, and we'll see if that does develop as we get toward the end of the week. So here's a closer look at that. Here's Jamaica, here's Haiti, Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, Antigua and Barbuda, down through Trinidad and Tobago. The active day, which many of us have already had to this uh, point in the uh, eastern and southeastern Caribbean, and there's that pocket of rain right there. Now, the ABC Islands, where we could use some rain, we do have a shot of this uh, giving us some showers. Keep me posted in the comments, kind of hit or miss. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire as we get into uh, tomorrow and Wednesday. Wednesday, and then you see this area building. Also, Nicaragua South seeing some of those areas of rain, but right here by Thursday, building over toward Boston Blue and Haiti and uh, over toward Montego Bay. You see some of that rain that will be building. We'll watch out for that chance of flooding this on Thursday, and then this area continues to work its way off toward the west, and we'll just monitor together signs of development. Short term, zooming down here. Here's St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, right where Barrel rolled on shore. Watching out for some pockets of rain that could total the next three days, 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. We could have a little bit more of that 
Not quite as much in Tobago, a little bit more as we swing back toward uh, Trinidad. Better chance of rain, Port of Spain, and southern zones where we could see some areas of flooding. Let me know your location and what you may be uh, getting uh, with that tropical wave. Now out here, one, two, three, four areas. We're watching four areas out here. Carlotta, Daniel, Amelia, and Fabio. Now, as far as the latest tracks go, here we are in Mexico, uh, just like we would like. Uh, we have Hawaii back over here, staying out to see. This one fizzles apart. Uh, Carlotta kind of moving off to the uh, west. Daniel kind of moves a little bit to the north and fizzles out. Amelia and Fabio should both stay away from Mexico. But four name storms, close proximity. Now, can storms combine? I sometimes get that question. What sometimes happens is uh, it's it's kind of a fancy, a fancy effect. If storms interact, sometimes a bigger one can absorb the other one. That can happen, absorb a weaker one, or they can rotate around each other, just kind of rotating around each other, but they wouldn't combine into a mega storm or uh, an entity like that. Now, here's a look at some of the rain, of course. Uh, I've been mentioning the historic rain up to the north uh, with Debbie measuring the rain in feet for our friends up toward Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, northern sections of the Bahamas, better chance of some of those feeder bands moving in. Let me know, Freeport down toward New Providence, if you get some extra rain elsewhere spotty. It's going to be later in the week as we get back toward Jamaica and the Cayman Islands where that rain chance will be higher. Passing shower possible, but look, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Bart's, uh, St. Croix over towards St. Thomas, uh, Tortola, not a whole lot of rain, but this is where I zoomed down earlier where we'll have some of those higher totals. And some of that will be in northern Guyana, Suriname, we could get a few scattered showers. Northeastern Venezuela watching out for rain. There's that heavier pocket. Parts of Nicaragua, but more so Costa Rica and Panama. Mexico, western end, better chance of rain. And this out here in the Pacific, that's all with those four name systems that we have in the uh, eastern Atlantic uh, Basin. Now, keeping an eye on the Atlantic region of Canada to see if uh, Debbie, once it builds offshore, eventually wants to lift up. No big signs of that yet. In the meantime, a couple fronts moving by with scattered showers, bringing it into Wednesday afternoon, most of the moisture just to the south there of uh, Nova Scotia. So rain chance 40 to 50 percent in Jamaica. We may get some thunderstorms in the hot side. Cayman Islands 20 to 30 percent chance, but later in the week, that's when the rain chance bumps up. Very active across Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados. Barbados, we've already seen a lot of that pan out from uh, last night. St. Lucia, same thing with the very active weather. Tropical wave on top of us. Grenada, tropical wave on top of us. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance about 50 to 60 percent the next couple days in Martinique. 50 to 60 percent chance the next couple days in Dominica. 40 to 50 percent chance in Guadeloupe. As we swing to the uh, northeastern Caribbean, rain chance is lower. Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat. That rain chance is just not high. Only a 10 percent chance tomorrow. Anguilla and St. Bards. Uh, rain chance stays very low. 10 to 20 percent chance the next few days. St. Martin, Seba, and Stacia. Now as you get back toward Puerto Rico, we could get a few showers and storms. Most of the action with the tropical wave to the south, but it may clip us by with a couple more showers and storms. So 30 percent chance tomorrow. U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And about a 30 to 40 percent chance in the Bahamas favoring the northern Bahamas with some of those feeder bands from Debbie the next two days. Turks and Caicos and the southern Bahamas generally on the dry side. Dominican Republic, some scattered showers and storms. Isolated 20 to 30 percent chance in Haiti, 20 to 30 percent chance in Belize. And I'll monitor that tropical wave that'll move through the Caribbean. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Rain chance does bump up some. Slightly better chance of a few showers as we work our way into tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, Guyana, rain chance uh, 60 percent favoring northern sections. Not super high as we get back towards Suriname. 30 to 40 percent chance. 30 percent chance in Cuba could see a pop-up storm. 60 percent chance elevated with some flooding possible. Costa Rica and Panama, Nicaragua, we're at about a 40% chance favoring our eastern sections. Honduras, 30 to 40% chance. Rain chance today in Guatemala and El Salvador, 60% through the afternoon. In the next couple days in Mexico City, about a 50% chance. 30 to 40% chance across the Yucatan Peninsula, 30 to 40% chance in northern uh, Colombia, and a 40% chance in northern Venezuela, better chance northeastern Venezuela, closer to Trinidad with that tropical wave moving in. Bermuda, rain chance 30% today. 20% chance tomorrow. So Debbie goes slow over land and it may do kind of a weird loop, but either way, so slow with that historic flooding. We have that tropical wave moving through the Eastern Caribbean, just entering the Eastern Caribbean. So isolated areas of flooding. I'll be watching your comments. Some development possible throughout the week as that new tropical wave slides through the Caribbean. Uh, thank you for the kind words and the comments. I'll get to those as we swing over the next few hours. Have a good and safe day ahead.